Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with what my grandmother would tell you to save your tips and ideas. And uh, there's still really good ideas coming, right? Yes, that's my canner you hear in the background. I am making and canning broth today. All right, Colleen McSee. I use milk of magnesia for deodorant. Works like a charm. Magnesium kills bacteria, which causes odor. And most people are deficient in this mineral. So it's a win-win. Now that's deodorant, not any perspirant. Any perspirant's not good for you, folks. It stops you from sweating, and that's not healthy. You sweat for a reason. That's just my humble opinion. Uh, BH, I use, re now this is a good one too. I use retired tennis balls, at least two, in my dryer instead of dryer sheets. I've done this for years. Love this series, thank you. Also, it's not just for using it, replacing dryer sheets. My sister-in-law has a thing for eider-down comforters. That means they're stuffed with down and feathers. And in order to dry them properly, she always put tennis balls in the dryer. Erin, Mrs. Bev, here is home remedy that my paternal grandfather taught me years ago. I thought he was nuts, but it actually works. His mom and grandmother used it as well back in the day before anti-diarrhea meds were on the market. Blackberry juice. Sounds crazy, but it actually works. I took a cup of frozen blackberries that I picked the previous summer, thawed them, and then squeezed the juice out. The sweet tart flavor makes it easy to drink, and after a couple of cups of this juice, it stopped the backdoor trots. Sagawang. I just made cloth paper towels by cutting up cotton tablecloths I get at Goodwill. I fold tablecloths in half so my paper towels are double, then I zigzag the edges. Pretty and works great, reusable. A friend of mine even rolls them onto the used paper towel cardboard roll, but I like mine just laid in a fold pile, folded pile. Thank you, Saga. I'm actually going to try that, so maybe I'll make a video. But I have lots of paper towels. Now that I, I look at my pantry and I have lots of paper towels, I'm starting to feel guilty that I have lots of paper towels. Because why? They go into the landfill. Atlantic Vegan Surfer. Here's a tip to use up every last bit of jam from the jar. I thought this was brilliant. Pour a bit of milk in the jar. Put the cap back on and shake to remove all the remaining jam bits from the sides. Then pour into an ice pop mold and freeze for a creamy, fruity dessert. You're brilliant. Also, when the creamy style salad dressing is finished, Get one last bit of dressing from it by pouring a bit of milk into the bottle. Shake, or you, you can use vinegar too. Shake vigorously and you have a serving of two more. This is how to stretch that money a little bit even further. Every bit counts and you're absolutely right. Cheryl Dye. When you cut off the leaves, now I'm assuming you mean the, the tops of the strawberries, right? You know when you cut the, the little cap off? When you cut off the leaves of a strawberry, save them and plant them in your garden. I did this and strawberry plants are coming up. A two for one. Um, also, when your strawberry plants have runners, you can cut those. They, they get put out runners and then they put a little plant on the end of the runner. You can cut those off and replant them um, in a new row or turn the runners back into the row and just stick the the little plant part in the ground. But make sure you cover your strawberries in the winter with or in the fall with like in the late fall before the first snow with straw. Ah, uh, for my canning, I now I like this too. I'm going to do this. For my canning, I keep a small jar with cut up rags from old clothes in vinegar. I use and use one to wipe the jar rims off. Simple convenient and reusable. Thank you, Saga. 
Uh, Linda Chandler, I have bought, I haven't bought laundry detergent in years. I have stopped putting borax in the detergent and instead add in a little borax if the load is very dirty, like add it to the wash, not to your la homemade laundry soap because borax is hard on elastic. I did not know that. Linda Saya, my grandmother from Sicily used to walk. Oh, I love this one. This gets the frugal tip of the day. My grandmother from Sicily used to wash the eggshells she used for breakfast and put in grandpa's simmering water before making his coffee, getting every last bit of nutrients. And then you just put those shells in the compost, right? Selena Kate, or is it Katie? Dearest, I had a ringer washer many years ago. We live in the country and I had the washer out by the clothesline. Lots less lugging, and I just wheeled it to the shed. My neighbor said I was nuts, but I saved tons of monies. Love from New Hampshire. Autumn C. You can wash a cloth. Okay, remember I talked about um, if somebody is bedridden or can't be moved at, for, for a week or so and their hair gets oily and all that stuff, and I talked about rolling up a towel, like putting a towel behind them on the pillow, rolling up the bottom and then working oatmeal, dry oatmeal into it, tying the towel up and letting it sit and then combing it out onto the towel and then shaking it out to the birds. This is another one. If this is for somebody who's laying in bed and is an in, invalid and needs their hair washed, you can wash, use a washcloth with shampoo to wash hair and plate and place a towel under the head. Use the washcloth to lather hair, rinse washcloth well, and rinse hair with washcloth a few times until all the shampoo is out. It works well when you can, it works well when you can't get out of bed. The longer the hair, the longer it takes, obviously. Thank you for that, Autumn. Diane Dazzle, I cut up old t-shirts for paper towels and old flannel for hygiene. I'm going to start going through all the old t-shirts. Uh, just found a mixture that works on mosquito bites or bug bites that really works. Take Vicks VapoRub and salt. Make a paste and apply to the bite area. It will take away any itching and redness. It really works. Uh, so does deodorant. But, I mean, you know, why would be... I, I haven't used deodorant. Oh, excuse me. I used it once on the weekend while we were at the races. But it's not. I don't use antiperspirant. But deodorant works well, too. But Vicks Vapor Rub and Salt, I'll be trying that because I have bad reactions to black flies in the spring. Okay, I got to try this because I have a burnt pot. I have a quart jar of pickle juice in the refrigerator. It's purposely for cleaning stainless steel kettles. My husband burned the inside of a kettle, and just a few days ago, I burned the same one. Each time, I put about a half a cup of pickle juice in the stainless steel kettle and brought it to a boil, boiling for about two minutes. Then took a scrubby with a little detergent, and the kettle was back to normal. I am going to try this on video because I have my stainless steel pot, and I burnt popcorn in it. Uh, Nicoletta Mazzarella, to clean the garbage disposal. Okay, now there's two garbage disposal recipes here. You you do you and you do what you want, but I like these ideas. Nicoletta Mazzarella. To clean the garbage disposal, stuff a bunch of ice cubes down there and let it run for a little bit. Start adding a little water. Then you'll see the crap come up. It's all black and nasty looking. Then rinse. Follow through with some vinegar and baking soda and rinse again. The ice cubes are breaking up the scum and everything that's in the chamber. It works really well. Another garbage, this is by Lay's Potato Chips. Another garbage disposal idea. Add a bowl full of ice and top with kosher salt. Then turn on the disposal. I also use citrus peels when I have them. Um, you know, you could, you could cut up a lemon uh, in quarters and freeze it and put that in with the ice. And that would help too. Lou's Northern Homestead. During hot weather, if you have elect if you have electricity and no AC, dampen hand towels or old dish towels and bend in a U shape and freeze. Place this around the back of your neck as it melts. Just toss back in the freezer. We used to do this for players in dugouts. Now, my friend, 
I think her name's Erin. I know, I can't remember everybody's names. She made, she sent me a bunch of these. These are cloths, tubes that are sewn shut, but before she sewed them shut, she put in like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of uh, moisture beads. You know, the beads that, you know, they put in diapers and, and pads and stuff. And she just puts like a tablespoon or two in this and then she soaks it in cold water. And I tie this around my head when it's really hot or around my neck when I'm in the garden. And that keeps me cool. And all you have to do is throw it back in the fridge. And if it starts to dry out, you just you just put uh, water in it again. You just soak it in cold water again. Those are really awesome. But I like the idea of the hand towel being wettened and then folded in the shape of your neck and then thrown in the freezer. Great idea. I have three to share. Okay, some of these are repeats, but we're going to say them anyway. I, I, Before I throw anything in the G word, I ask myself, can I save or reuse this? I try never to throw our plastic bags of any kind. I organize them by size. When I need a plastic baggie, there they are. I shall never buy Ziploc or Saran Wrap again. I still have some. I reuse my fabric softener sheets to wash my really dirty dishes so I don't make my sponge so gross. They don't scratch the dishes and work well. I've never heard of that, but then I don't use dry, dryer sheets. Here's a great one. I make my own toothpaste in a small container with approximately one teaspoon of mouthwash and two tablespoons of baking soda, just enough ratio to make a paste no plastic waste and i shall never buy toothpaste again and somebody else said i think it was on the live one that their dentist told them to mix their mouthwash half and half half mouthwash half uh, peroxide and apparently it when you rinse your mouth and everything it, it just does everything good for your mouth and uh, tender, tender rose, trend rose, I'm not sure, tendered rose. My grandmother taught me that when you have a sore throat, gargle with peroxide to help. Now, I would say half and half mouthwash. I would also say don't gargle with straight peroxide. I would cut that in half uh, or at least add some water to it because it would burn. I save my peels and cores. Oh, Lou. I save my peels and cores from apples and freeze in plastic bags. And after I get enough to fill a stock pot, I cover with water and simmer about one to two hours. Do not mash your pulp. I strain it and you can drink it as apple juice or turn into apple jelly, which I do. And I add a bit of cinnamon. Make sure before you do, that's great, Lou. That's great because I used to do that at the bakery when I would peel all these apples. I would bring the apples. I've brought the apple cores in this in this the um, skins home and made jelly. However, make sure you wash the apples. And, you know, wash the apples before you use them so that your cores and peels going into the bag in the freezer are clean. I use the backs of hubby t hubby's t-shirts for drying dishes. The fronts are full of holes and stains, but the backs are in great shape. Isn't that the truth? Uh, BH, thought of another tip. I'm all for f easy, frugal living. Before putting a new... Oh, this is, this is smart too. Because I thought, you know how you go into public washrooms and the toilet paper's like, doesn't matter how gentle you are, you only rip off three because they're tight. Before putting a new roll of toilet paper on the holder, smash the whole roll mostly flat. This keeps the roll from spinning endlessly especially for the grandkids who might be visiting. It may be annoying when rolling the paper off, but it makes you conscious of how much you are using. Absolutely brilliant. Sharon Salyer, one tablespoon of mayo can be used to substitute for one egg. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying thank you once again for your frugal living tips. As long as they keep coming, I will keep doing these videos. What a great idea. I'm printing all these off. I may just make a book, uh, like in a binder, 
but who knows, right? Thing, as long as you keep these tips coming in, I will keep doing these videos and sharing them. What a great community we have. Take care. God bless. And always think twice before you throw something out. Mwah! Love you guys. Thank you.